Hey guys, how are you doing? This is your friend Alex, and on this video I want to show you how to unlock your AT&T device. In this case I have an Android device, but you can do this method with an iPhone also. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to your favorite browser and you're going to type att.com forward slash device unlock. If you go to Google, you can type AT&T unlock and the first result should be the unlock portal. So once you're here, you're going to click on unlock your device. If you're an AT&T wireless customer, you're going to select yes and you're going to type your phone number. In my case, I'm not, so I'm going to select no. Once I select no, they don't ask me for my phone number. There are different ways to find your IMEI. In this case, the website is telling us to dial star pound 06 pound. You're going to open the telephone app and from here, you're going to dial star pound 06 pound. You're going to find the IMEI number. Put it here, okay? So 35 74 85 09 59 75 21 As soon as I finish, the website is going to recognize this phone as an AT&T phone and the model is this one. This is the Alcatel AT&T Axia. We're just going to click here that we are not a bot. You need to select the boats and now you verify it and then you have to click here, right? Yes, I read the legal stuff and agreed to device unlock eligibility requirements. So I would recommend you to read this device unlock eligibility requirements because not all the AT&T phones are eligible to be unlocked. So you select here and you click next. Okay, here's gonna ask you the first name, last name, mobile number. To be honest, you can put anything here, right? In my case, I'm gonna put my, my name. Mobile number, you don't need to put anything, okay? A lot of people asking me, do I need to put any mobile number? No, forget about it. And this is the most important part, your email address. It needs to be an email that you can access. Okay, and once you have all the stuff, you're going to click Submit. It says, thanks, we are emailing you a link. Check your spam folder. The link is good for only 24 hours. Your request number is. So you're going to go to your email, and here you can see AT&T order status. So you're going to click on this, and it says, confirm your unlock request within 24 hours. What you need to click is this. Be sure to confirm. So you're going to click on Confirm, and it's going to say, thanks for confirming. It may take up to 48 hours to complete your request. It can actually take longer, depending on your situation. And it says, we will email you when we reach a decision or if we need more info. You can also check your request status online. What I recommend you is to go back to your email after you confirm, and you're going to click here, check the status, right? And here you can see that right now is in progress. It says, we are reviewing your unlock request now. It can take up to two business days to get back to you because AT&T should send us an email telling us that they approve the unlock. So the email is going to look like this. We approve your unlock request. And here, guys, you're going to find an unlock code. How can you input this code on the phone? The way you need to do it is you need to put a SIM card from another company on your phone, and that's going to trigger the unlock code menu. And that's where you can put the unlock code. In this case, uh, we're going to open the phone. And in this case, we're going to put a Verizon SIM card. We're going to put it here. We're going to close it. And look at this, guys. As soon as we put the Verizon SIM card, we have a SIM network unlock pin. And that's exactly what they sent to us. So this is what we need to input. So you have to click here so you can see the numbers. It's going to be 671. Let me mess it up one time. All right, let's say I put any number. I click unlock. And it says SIM network unlock request unsuccessful. Okay, in this case, it doesn't tell me how many options I still have. In other phones, you're gonna see that you have 10 chances to unlock your phone. In this phone, it doesn't show anything, but I already burned one chance, all right? Let's put the correct SIM network unlock pin. This is gonna be 761. And by the way, this pin is not gonna work on your phone because that unlock code number is generated based on your IMEI. So it's unique per phone. 761-840-7375-603-529. Okay, so we put all the numbers for our unlock code and we're gonna click unlock. And that's it, it was really fast. So I'm gonna try a SIM card from Mint Mobile and we're gonna put this. So let's wait. Right here, guys. You see this? Mint. So Mint utilized the T-Mobile network, and this is an AT&T phone. The phone is unlocked. You can actually make a phone call, the 611, just to double check, you know? And the Mint Fox should pick up. Thanks for calling Mint Mobile. Hold on one second while we get started. 
that confirms that the phone is unlocked you can actually go to the settings again and uh, go to system about the phone or about phone status sim status and you can see also that the network here is mint which confirm that the phone is unlocked a lot of people are gonna say oh this method didn't work in your case it didn't work I just show you that it works this is actually a prepaid phone that I bought in 2019 so I have to wait a couple of years to be able to unlock it I don't know what's your case I don't know what is your contract with AT&T but in my case I was able to unlock this AT&T Android phone for free thank you so much for watching this video guys let me know if you have any questions in the comments and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that's the best way to support my channel so I can keep doing videos for you. Thank you so much guys. Take care. Bye.